Okay, there's one thing I wanted to mention about uh, setting up virtual machines in VirtualBox. I'm going to go ahead and look at this one. This is a little different, but if you want, if you look in here under System, you have these tabs here: the motherboard, which is where the memory is, and what the boot order, and what chipset you want to run, and some I/O features, stuff like that. That make things run a little better, usually with little newer operating systems in this particular VM. But you look at processor. Okay, notice I have one here and I can go up to 16. That's the virtual processors. If you have a multi-core processor and especially a multi-core hyper-threading and it has virtualization extensions or as most people say virtualization extensions, you'll be able to use this However, if this tab, acceleration, happens to be grayed out, that means virtualization isn't enabled in your BIOS on your motherboard, on this one, on the real one out here. And that means you're going to be stuck with one CPU, which isn't a lot of fun if you're trying to virtualize, say, you know, a SQL Server or something like that in a VM on Server 2000, whatever. So keep that in mind. Now, in this case, this is an old version of Windows. We actually had to turn this off because virtualization was screwing up the mouse and a bunch of other things, causing the install to crash and all that. But in most cases, you want to make sure that your BIOS settings have virtualization enabled so that you can pick more processors and so that uh, you can take full advantage of the resources your motherboard's providing. And I've actually run into some server boards specifically some older Intel Xeon boards that you could put a processor of virtualization extensions on there, but the, if the board doesn't support it, it's not going to pass it through. Your OS has to see it. Um, for example, when you're looking at your OS, go ahead and look at Task Manager here. See how I've got, this is a Core i7-860. It's got four physical cores and it's got hyper-threading, so it shows up as eight cores. If you're not seeing at least two of these, you, you're, you, at one of two things is happening. Um, you either only have one core or you don't have hyper-threading on or you don't have hyper-threading or you don't have two threads available, period. So, yeah, you, you, you want to make sure you have a multi-core processor you want to make sure you have the virtualization settings turned on. So, just a little tip. And with that, we'll just move right along.